to jump straight in here. Green Stuff World asked me if I wanted to pick some products when I offered to give them a review. Now I did say that my review is going to be completely honest. They can't buy it. It is what it is. So one of the things I chose was this blue stuff and it is a plastic that you heat up in hot water and you use it to make molds for things. You have to put it in hot water for three minutes, so the packet said. Now, I found that three minutes wasn't really quite long enough, and I also found the water had to be very hot. So you either want to use some gloves or you want asbestos fingers. Now, I did actually give myself a bit of a yelp when I took this out of the hot water because it's pretty hot. Now I have one of my stamps here, which I'm going to try and replicate by making a mould. So this is the first attempt I had. Now bear in mind, this stuff is pretty hot when it comes out of the water, but the working time is pretty short. So first of all, I try pressing the stamp into this mould and doing it that way. So I've now waited for a minute or two for it to cool down and I can take the stamp, my homemade stamp I hasten to add, out of this to create the actual mould that I can use to make another stamp. So now I've got my polymer gel that I normally make my stamps from and I'm going to fill the mould with the gel. So now I'm putting a piece of glass over the top of this because that is one way of making sure that the base is going to be flat. And then I cure it for three minutes under a UV lamp. So this one got stuck slightly to my glass group top saver, but no problems, I know it comes off. And this is the first attempt I had at making a mould of my stamp to create another stamp. And to be honest, I thought I'd probably got it right. I was wrong. I didn't have it right. Yes, it looks as though it's okay, but it wasn't. So here I am, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side test of my original stamp, which is on the right-hand side, and the new one, which I made from the mold, which is on the left. So here's the result, and it becomes blatantly obvious that I didn't have a level stamp. So take two. So the next time I do it, I take more care to make sure that I press this between two flat pieces. Well, one's glass and one's a Perspex stamp block as it happens. And I move it to one side because I don't have support under that part of the table. So I press down pretty hard on it to try and make sure that it has even pressure and that it will be a perfectly formed mold for my stamp. I did everything else the same and peel off the mould and the stamp is left on my glass plate. A little bit fiddly to get it off but it peels off. Um, because it's been cured for three minutes it's pretty tough, you're not going to damage it. Now I did notice I had a couple of little air bubbles obviously in my gel when I poured it in on the outside edges of the mould. There were some little extra bits, but I was able to cut those off as it happens for this particular one. So now I'm testing out the second stamp and I'll just ink that up I'm using the same ink as I previously used. And I just want to see whether I've cured the problem. Now, I don't doubt that this plastic stuff can make decent molds. It depends on what you want to use it for. The working time is very, very short. The stamp came out fine this time, so I've proved that if you have a favourite stamp that you've made, you can duplicate it by making a mould of it, just filling it up with the polymer and making another one. This would be great if you wanted to make several of the same design.